let's get started. I'm going to go here to create new and create a new document. Now with the specific dimensions for your project I'm going to go ahead and work with print and inside of the print I'm going to go with the traditional poster size which is going to be more of 11 by 17 and 11 by 17 is going to be the tabloid so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to make sure as far as my layout is concerned I'm going to go to the typography layout and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple of the parts that I know I'm going to work with quite often I'm just going to bring those off to the side here I like to have them laid out inside of my screen now as far as the text here what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and then from there I'm going to select to paste the information from my quote here and the quote is by Malcolm X it's education is the passport to the future for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today and we'll have two ways in which I will make that work now the first way that you can make this work is quite easily by clicking on the on all of the text here and then from there you can go into the paragraph I can align it to the center and by aligning it to the center mean to the point where now inside of this box are all center aligned now this works out fine if this was my final quote if I wanted to go ahead and just select this and then from there maybe I decide for certain parts of it maybe I decide I want to bold one letter or maybe there's another one that I want to decide that I want to change a different color to it and I could do that as well maybe I decide I want to italicize now as far as the specific typeface this is Arial and with regard to the modifications I can italicize and perhaps I can change different things that I feel will be best to emphasize the parts of my text that I want to have prepared you can add a line there at the top and you can have a line there at the bottom as well and I'll create that this is just to kind of show a simple version and we're going to get more in depth we're going to create a more involved version that's going to get into typography and really pretty cool which I, I think would work out well I'll bring this down a little bit as well and then I'll select both of these here just to align them and this is going to align them towards the center making sure they both are okay and then of course the the name of the person and then of course I'll get the quote marks here okay so that was the first example of how to create your typographic poster and this is more of a basic one now that was that was the first example now the next example we're gonna add a little bit more color and detail and some of the features in Adobe Illustrator but I wanted to make sure we had a basic understanding of how it works before we begin to take it to the next level so let's get started with the second design in the current version of Adobe Illustrator, the feature is not there where you can copy text and separate them to individual layers. So it would be ideal if I could actually have education is the passport all as separate layers. But what you have to do in this current version is you're going to have to manually copy and paste. And that's going to be through the edit window. Um, for Mac, you have Command C, Command V for copy and paste. And you have Control C for copy control V for paste on PC and utilizing that way and with regard to the original text that I have here I'm gonna hide it and I'm gonna lock it just in case I need to pull it back up again later on what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of these and then from there in the paragraph option I'm going to align center and the reason why I'm doing that is when I have my quote I know I'm gonna have it in the center of my document here and when I go over here and I click align center you can see now it's actually being aligned and I'll zoom in to show you based upon the center of the pieces of my quote I have my type here and what I want to do is I want to select the type and the font that I think will emphasize things most I know education is one passport is another one and today those are ones that I really want to emphasize and I need to find a font that I feel is going to work best what I want to do is I'm going to go into here and I want to filter out so I can actually select different ones that I think might work a little bit better so I specified without serif and I want a font that's a heavy weight and the font that I like to use is Babis New Bold and I'm going to click on that one and I know that it's within this document I know that I want to use this a few times so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see what I have here I'm going to drag and make it a little bit larger I'm going to hold the shift and option this allows me to zoom out from the center and I like this font because it's an all capitals font. I can always make it larger as I need to, but I'm just going to go ahead and adjust this first. And from there, I can go into my character styles. And if I click on character styles, it's going to allow me to save this. So I'm going to click the create new style. And now since that's been created, I can double click to go inside of it. 
And if from there, any time that I want to use it from now on, it will keep the same size, but at least it avoids having to go again and again and again. So I like education is the passport. I'll click on that, going back to that same character style, to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. So I'm going to grab a box here, just a simple shape with the rectangle tool. I'm going to click here to swap so that it's just going to have a stroke there and I'm just more concerned with just the shape of it for right now and passport to the future and as far as the stroke here I'll go and click on the stroke and of course within the stroke options you can have the stroke right on the line you can have it on the end of the line or the outside of the line I'm gonna have it directly on the center make it a little bit thicker here and from there that works for me for right now now the word tomorrow I like the how I have it here but let's say that I want to make that same off the bay was new but I want to make it a little bit smaller. So I have this selected, and now I'm just going to go ahead and bring it back down to more of a smaller size here. And from there, maybe I decide I like the, the aerial that I had here, but at the same time, maybe I want to have it italicized. Now I'm going to begin to enhance the text, modify it a little bit, and add a little bit of color. And this modification of the color, what we're going to use is the color guide. And from there, I'm picking the blue color as the background. Then from there, it's going to allow me inside of the color guide to help me pick a few options that may work best with that primary color. So the color guide will allow me to make some adjustments and things of that nature. But specifically what I'm looking at as far as within this color scheme of the triad color, I like this yellow color that's here as well. So I'm going to use that yellow color that's inside of the color guide as the emphasis for some of the other portions that I'm working with here. So as far as the passport here, I can make it that color that's yellow. I'm going to do some additional formatting to the text and from there just making more modifications to it to get it more towards my liking. I like kind of just working with the ability to copy and paste and if I copy and paste the element one on top of the other I'll select one of them and I'll make it more of a darker tone here and then I'll place that below and it allows me to give the appearance of a drop shadow and it gives me more information I can work with. And I'll just finish up a few other things just to kind of make it more to my liking. And what I'm doing for some of these, I'm going to adjust the tracking. And I did the same thing with Passport as well. As you can see, we haven't used any special effects or anything like that. It's more of just a duplication of text to create drop shadows. Of course, we have a rectangle here and that doesn't have the without a fill inside of it and pretty much it's kind of the spacing of the different elements and we group some things together so let me go ahead and finish all these labeling of the layers and just as done before making sure you save your copy in the Adobe Illustrator format .ai but also at the same time make sure that you save a second copy file export as and we'll save that as a PNG. We'll save this typographic poster .png, and go from there. And again, as far as the background, you can decide if you want to have it transparent. In this case, I'm utilizing the whole background. Select OK. We covered creating a typographic poster using text and graphics in Adobe Illustrator. And we've utilized some of the specific software tools to text the shape and some of the newer options as far as the character and paragraph windows and also at the same time for an advanced option the option of using character styles to save the commonly used font and typefaces in order to accelerate the production process this has been creating typographic poster and Adobe Illustrator I hope you've enjoyed this hope it's been helpful and beneficial to you in the process and I wish you the best as you continue working on the project Looking forward to connecting with you again in the next tutorial. Thank you. Hi everyone. Thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the Adobe Education Exchange. And click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.